How's it going guys? John. My third attempt at making this video this morning. <laughs> uh, anyway, a couple things I've done lately. One, shift boot. Yay. Uh, normal deuces, you've got just a, a round uh, shift boot that covers the transmission to keep stuff from getting inside the transmission up against the stick. Uh, but I put something on the floor so that there's actually a barrier between uh, the outside and inside. Uh, because there wasn't. There was just a hole around that boot and heat and everything else to come in so I just did it up myself. I just got a Mr. Gasket boot and then uh, put it in the floor. I uh, got myself a new shifter knob. Yeah! Love it. Uh, dressed up a lot of my cables. I still gotta find better places to hook my power cables but the overhead is a little bit more dressed up now. <sighs> Waiting on those military guys because supposedly they have a way to actually secure this thing that they finally figured out after I exploded the message boards on steel soldiers but they were supposed to send it Friday I've got no information no nothing they're they probably just they're not gonna send it probably so what I'm gonna do is take some J hooks I'm gonna go up here hook them into place on the, the mount and then have a like uh, one of those bolts that come through that has the it just bolts in there and has a threaded end and then I'll just secure them together with a long nut or something I'll make it work I'll secure it down because the back's the back's secure it's not going to move anywhere I just don't want to go up and down and smash some of my stuff so I just want to basically hold it down to the top Ugh, oil for me to change my transmission and transfer case oil today that's the plan anyway redid up my battery box I know it looks really busy that the solagizer and my other power going in there so it looks kind of busy but I uh, replaced all my connectors and stuff like that today on my giant hawkers and it's, uh, it's going good. I know my battery box isn't like normal deuce enough battery box. I don't have the handles on the outside. I don't have the plates or the J hooks or anything like that but it works and uh, made sure to secure it so it doesn't fly out and knock out this door while I'm driving because that would suck. <sighs> the only other thing really is I switched to spin-ons that I got from West Fork. Um, they work really, really well. Um, I made a lot of oil mess yesterday, taking off the old canisters, but uh, never going to have that problem again with these spin-ons. I got the anti-drain back guys, so they won't, uh, they won't kick my butt so much anymore. Uh, I'm running with the Wix 51789s, um, they're really good filters. Um, I was going to get the Napa ones, but the Wicks and the Napas are the same thing, and yeah, so they don't have them at the, the Napa doesn't have the Napa filters where I'm at, but O'Reilly's has Wicks, so there we go. So the, the Napa here in Colleen is pretty much the worst Napa on the planet, but I digress. So anyway, uh, just general, you know, life prolonging things lately, and then some creature comforts in the cab, that's all I've been really up to. Um, things to come that I'm finally going to do is I'm going to bypass this FDC and I'm going to delete the flame heater um, because I'm just going to do it out of you know practical safety basically because eventually they're going to they're going to break and they're going to leak oil, uh, fuel into my oil and that's going to be a problem and the thing that's really driving me behind it is that I don't think it's doing it right now but my uh, when I went to go change the oil I pulled out seven gallons versus the five and a half that's supposed to be in here. Um, but it didn't have diesel in it. It wasn't like really thin. It doesn't smell like diesel. I don't have diesel in it. I am like 98% sure of that. So I think that uh, because this is my first oil change, uh, I think the fire department that had it before me just overfilled it and that could happen. So who knows? Um, but that would explain some of that. But yeah. That's about where I'm at. I'm going to change the uh, transfer case and transmission oil today, but there's no real reason to do a video of that because there's about, oh, you know, somebody else that has already covered those in videos, and I'm not going to beat a dead horse. That's also why I didn't do a video of putting on these adapter kits from West Fork because he's got his own video about how to do it. I mean, I get that it's, it's old and it's windy in his video and stuff like that, but you can tell exactly what you need to do from his video. It works. There's no point to, you know, to reinvent the wheel by making one, so I'm not going to do it. Um, that's where I'm at. Just uh, life prolonging things. Trying to make sure she's 100% good to go, 
or even better than 100% uh, before I make this PCS move here in a couple months. So I'm going to drive it from Fort Hood, Texas to Sierra Vista, Arizona. It's going to be quite a drive. Load this thing down with all my life, basically, and drive it across the desert. So here's hoping. All right, I'm going to quit rambling. Y'all have a good one.